This is Polygala Petite Butterflies, and it's a dwarf sweet pea shrub. Um, this is becoming a pretty popular little plant. What you're seeing here is one in Carmel, California, and uh, you're going to see some others that are in Pacific Grove, California. Um, I'm in a hot inland valley in the um, San Francisco area, and what's interesting to me about this is uh, where it gets in the 90s and the 100s, we get more intense summer and we get a more intense winter. Our temperatures this winter, well, generally we get down as low as 20 degrees Fahrenheit in the winter, whereas in these seaside areas, they're going to stay above freezing. And um, the plant can take it either way. I would say the low end of this plant's probably in the, in the mid-teens Fahrenheit. Um, but because it doesn't get the extremes in terms of heat or cold uh, seaside, these things grow way faster. Um, I'm sure the soil being sandy helps as well, but I think the extreme temperature range uh, also reins them in in the uh, areas where you are colder and hotter. So here's a nice close-up of this compact uh, form and um, you know, the, this is not a pruned plant. You're looking at its natural habit of growth. This is in mid-April, so you have this very heavy display of blooms in mid-April. And um, it blooms over a long period. Mine have never been out of bloom. I've had one in for probably eight years, and there's always some flowers on that. And I find that true to be I, I find that to be true for Polygala dalmatiana as well, the larger variety of Polygala. So this is a uh, great little plant, and here's the big bonus. It is deer tolerant. Uh, my dad has intense deer issues in his yard, and they leave this plant alone consistently. So that... Um, along with its nice size. This is about uh, three feet wide, plus or minus, by about two feet tall, two, two, two to three feet. I've seen it as tall as three feet, but I would say presume two feet to 30 inches high. And again, very compact form naturally, so there's, there's literally no maintenance on this plant. If you put it in the right place and give it room to do what it does here that you see here, um, there's nothing to do. These flowers are self-cleaning. The petals will just fall off and more will follow. Uh, it's one of the better plants that I know of in terms of versatility uh, and low maintenance and show. It's a great, great little plant. I've only seen it around for maybe five years or so. This is 2012, um, but I use this quite a bit because in residential applications especially, it's just a really good size for the mid-ground um, plantings. So... Um, water it likes it's fairly drought tolerant actually i keep seeing this thing used in areas where it's not getting a lot of water i use it on drip irrigation and um the one thing I'd say though is this thing self sows. I find little seedlings, not lots of them, but some around the base of the plant. So there is a self sowing that goes on with this, but it's not enough to be a nuisance. So um, little tidbit there. Um, and just a great little compact plant and I like the form to be combined with maybe some grassy like daylilies or something that gives a little contrast but uh, that's what I can tell you about polygala petite butterflies. I would space these probably 30 inches to 3 feet on center. Um, I like them from 5 gallon containers and um, drip irrigation or spray irrigation is fine. Drought tolerant, deer tolerant. Great little plant, uh, especially for residential use.